Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are still running Windows 10 version 20H2, as I have mentioned in previous videos, as of the 10th of May 2022, which was yesterday in my region of the world, that version of Windows 10 has now reached its end of life and end of support and will no longer receive any more security updates after the 10th of May. And if we just head over to Windows Update, um, this update KB5013942, which rolled out on the 10th of May, would be the last and your last security update that you will receive for uh, Windows 10 version 20H2. And Windows 10 to any H2 rolled out in October of 2020, so um, it no has now reached its end of life. And it's important, though, that um, you do upgrade to a newer version of Windows um, as um, this security update was the last update you received. And after that, you will no longer receive any uh, security updates, meaning that your device could be at a higher risk to and open to greater threat and attack. Now, as I've mentioned in a previous video, this is all outlined by Microsoft uh, version 20H2 end of servicing, where they say the end of servicing um, will be reached on May the 10th, 2022. And this affects... Uh, four versions of uh, version 20H2 as mentioned here. That's Home Pro, Pro Education, and Pro for Workstations. And um, Microsoft does note here at the bottom that if you are running version 20H2 for Enterprise and Education, um, uh, end of servicing will only be reached on the 9th of May 2023. So if you are running version 20H2 for Enterprise Education, you've got give or take another year left of support where Home Pro, Pro Education and Pro for Workstations um, now, as of the 10th of May, have received their final security security update and are, no, uh, and are now no longer supported. And um, if you do meet the system requirements for Windows 11, um, that will show up um, in your Windows update. And for whatever reason, if you don't want to upgrade to Windows 11, uh, then you can still upgrade to a newer version of uh Windows 10 through Windows Update and that's because Windows 10 is supported up until 2025 so there are still a couple of years left um, if you don't want to upgrade or can't upgrade to Windows 11 and if you don't want to use uh, the Windows Update process you can always head over to Microsoft download Windows 10 where you can update to a newer version using the uh, update assistant and the media creation tool and if you don't know what version of Windows 10 you are on, you can just do a search in your search for WinVer. And this will open up um, a little menu where you can see what version you're running. And I'm running a version 21H2, which is the uh, latest stable release of the Windows 10 operating system. And if you see version 20H2, it's time to upgrade to a newer version of Windows 10 as 20H2 as mentioned, now has reached its end of service and support. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.